Hello, everyone. We want to invite you to the second annual Jeffrey Wolf Green Evolutionary Astrology Conference. This will be happening this October 3rd to 6th. The purpose of this conference is to support the teachings of EA, bring it out, make it more accessible in the world. We're going to be bringing together 15 different teachers steeped in this lineage. Many of them have been teaching for a long time. Many of them taught last year, and we have a handful of new teachers that are new to this conference as well. I am so excited about this conference, Ari, because there are several lectures that I've never heard spoken taught at a conference. I've never heard them taught in this way. And they're just unique to this work. They're all evolutionary astrology teachings per se, but it's also going to feel brand new. Let's take a look at all the talks and we can give a little overview of them together. So on the first day, we're actually going to have an eclipse panel and that's followed by Deva's opening talk on why did I choose this family? This is a very fascinating and foundational talk in understanding just the basis for why we come into the life that we do from an EA point of view. All right, and think about Deva, the family that she chose to be born through, the father that she <laughs> chose to be born through. But she's gonna help us all in our own understanding of why we chose, what we chose is that early imprint coming into this life. We pick up where we left off. And we have Planet Sign House Synthesis with Bradley Narrigan. This is an essential talk that's really necessary before doing all this other interpretive work. It's basics, you can't spend enough time just practicing planet sign house synthesis skills. Right, I just wanna comment here too, because this is a question that comes up more than any other question. Yeah. If you're early into the study of EA, this was really a topic you were passionate about, Ari, wanting someone to teach, and we're super happy about this lecture because when you start combining different archetypes, say within a house, you put a planet in one house that with a different sign on the cusp of that house, you're having to synthesize different archetypes. It, it feels overwhelming, but there is a practical step-by-step -step way to, to really integrate this kind of approach to the chart. And we need to have that foundation to build upon when we're doing this work. Absolutely, and I just love the, the astrology dice in this image. It's brilliant. <laughs> then we have a talk with Steve Wolfson. This is going to be a very heartful talk on the involutionary process. So evolution means you're changing, you're evolving, but there's this period called involution that Jeff Green taught where you're no longer in the old form, but not quite yet in the new one. It's that very intimate internal chrysalis phase, mm. something we all have to go through. So I'm really looking forward to this. It's, it's one of those areas that just, it's so meaningful to speak to it. Right. Embracing Change, Navigating Uranus Transits with Simon Vorster. And this will be a talk on simply looking at Uranus Transits from an evolutionary astrology perspective, understanding the archetype of Uranus as it corresponds to liberation and awakening. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the transits really are propelling us into our journey. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to this uh, lecture as well. It's so, so transformational, uh, the Uranus Transit. And we're, we've all experienced it at one point or another. So Absolutely. looking forward to that. The next transit talks, Pluto transits facing our shadow with Laura Nalbandian. So this is really the essence of doing work in EA, looking at Pluto natally, looking at Pluto in transit as sort of the bottom line evolutionary intention in transit. This is kind of where evolution is happening. So this is going to be an unpacking of the nature of Pluto in transit. It was a Pluto transit that I was experiencing <laughs> when I found this work, right? So many people, I think, find this work under a Pluto transit. All right, and Timothy Halloran is joining us. We're very excited to be bringing him into this conference. He's gonna be teaching a very cool talk on 12th house, confusion and spiritual versus pathological sacrifice. Oh, yeah. One of the most confusing areas of the needle chart for many students. This is going to be a very cool talk, just speaking about the patterns of martyrdom, self-sacrifice, confusion, versus what it means to really surrender or let go from a spiritual point of view. Well, I also think about the fact that at some point in our evolution, and you can think about really evolved masters that have sacrificed themselves for the sake of a cause or something greater. Right. So I'm super excited about what he has to say on this one. Me as well. All right, we have Jordan speaking on Cassandra. And this is an asteroid that I'm actually very open to learning more about. I know Jeff Green has brought this forward many times. Many asteroids have been taught on the asteroid goddess thread on the EA forum, which everyone can check out. And this is an asteroid that she's been spending a lot of time researching and practicing. So this speaks about recovering our inner voice, our personal truths, and the courage to speak. Yeah, it, I mean, it's really, there's really a resurgence of Cassandra, I feel, huh. with women in particular in my practice, just 
where they haven't felt heard, they've been silenced or they've felt invisible, someone's not listening. Uh, and so this is a powerful story about Cassandra that she'll teach on the history of this archetype and then uh, how to empower yourself through these symbols. Uh, yeah, to to speak your truth. All right, Jason Holly will be teaching on evolutionary astrology and sexual healing. He'll be focusing on the main sexual planets, Mars and Venus, as it relates to the archetype of sexual healing. Again, this is one of those topics where I know I haven't ever heard anyone speak about yeah. this from that particular lens. And exactly. he's honestly an expert in this field, so I'm very much looking forward uh, to it. Yeah, I mean, a lot of his counseling work uh, was with uh, clients that had been traumatized in some way uh, and uh, sexually and otherwise, but uh, you know, he's also going to be looking at the nodes of Mars and Venus, which are the past of that Venus and Mars and where the soul is headed. So you can see this theme coming back into this life. And I know he'll just do a fantastic job on this. Yeah. It's going to be excellent. And your talk on evolving the fire of your soul's desire on Mars. Yes. Well, one thing that we don't often think about is that uh, not only are we looking at Mars in the chart, Mars is the desire of your soul. It's taking what's unconscious inside of you. And through your instinct, you know what it is that your soul wants. Mars is the lower octave of Pluto. So I often think about, you know, what does it look like for a soul to evolve when, once we've actualized certain desires and we're wanting to grow and evolve, right? So because we pick up where we left off, we can see this trinity of energy looking at the past of Mars, the current life and where you're headed, but also to look at Aries in the chart, wherever that is and what's on the ascendant, which is an Aries house. So I'll be speaking to that and how to evolve your soul's desires through some excellent examples of different stages of evolution through different mm -hmm. case studies and also looking at the current uh, or the upcoming mars retrograde transit at the end of this year starting oh, in december for all of us mars will be retrograde and i'll teach on that as well that's great it's gonna be a powerful mars retrograde and we really can't delve deeply enough into mars it's so essential it's such a powerful archetype to understand through an evolutionary lens. All right, I'll be speaking to Venus, tending the inner garden of the soul. Just speaking how, you know, Venus corresponds to both the relationships that we come into and attract, but also our inner relationship to ourself. And the Venus-Taurus archetype is the polarity to the Pluto-Scorpio archetype. So this whole um, realm of self-value and self-esteem, how we're listening and meeting our own needs and tending to the inner beloved, right? Tending to our own inner garden, a very important topic. And once again, speaking about Venus through the lens of the South Node of Venus, Venus, North Node of Venus, and all of those archetypes. Excellent. I am very excited for Best to be joining us this year. This is a new talk as well. Health crisis as an evolutionary catalyst and path to healing. I imagine this will be very um, sixth house focused, but I think at more holistically, understanding the needle chart from the point of view of how disease or health crisis is a catalyst towards evolution. She's very well trained in um, medical astrology and has a deep knowledge of medicine and healing. So this is going to be a great contribution that I'm really looking forward to personally. Yeah. I mean, she found this work because she was sick, physically right. sick on the couch, unable to get off the couch, not knowing why she was sick. And of course, there's always a physical manifestation when we don't feel well, we feel sick, but it's always rooted in something deeper, more emotionally. Uh, rooted, right? All dis-ease is rooted in emotional unrest. And so when our soul's gotten off track, potentially, sometimes we get sick and sometimes it's a wake-up call to help direct us back on track, which, you know, be, be best was able to do uh, in finding this work. So yes. super excited about this talk. Karma Yoga and the Soul's Right Work with Rav Shahal. So this is looking at the Earth Trinity, the second, sixth, and 10th house to understand how we both support ourselves, how we contribute to society, and the path of karma yoga, where we are in service and continuing to refine and improve ourselves through right work. Yeah, I mean, there's things that we can do because we're capable and there's things that we're called to do, right? Mm -hmm. In service to the mm -hmm. whole. And while Jeff Green taught a great deal about karma yoga and right work, again, this is one of these lectures I, I've never heard at a conference quite in this way. And it's really taken from the teachings of EA and her bringing it forward uh, with her voice. So I'm looking forward to this very much. Me as well.
And we have Rose Marcus, mapping your soul's intention for evolution with secondary progressions. And that's, again, a topic that I've actually never seen presented in a lecture format in any kind of conference or public space. So I'm looking forward to hearing her teachings on that. Oh, yeah, it's fantastic. In fact, this kind of came up in our recent series when we were looking at uh, progressions. Uh, it was a Mars progression in particular. We we're talking about how important Mars That's is right. in our chart, right? That's right. Yeah, we're looking at that. <laughs> so if Mars is what leads us forward and we're looking at a progressed chart because we're we're not static beings, we're evolving, we're evolving, hopefully all of us. And so this is a wonderful way to measure really um, your own evolution, but also, you know, what you're feeling called to do. And, and it is an incredible way to interpret uh, somebody's experience and, and what they have coming and drawing into their life. And, and the nuances uh, that I'm continuing to discuss, like that last class, someone asked a question about tracking the planetary phase of Mars and Venus in progressions. Mm. I never thought that in progressions, Mars and Venus might change the phase that they're in from the needle chart. Just there are so many nuances to track through secondary progression. So it's worth yeah, looking into. It's going to be awesome. Okay. And this is probably a boring talk oh, with very on, little, Mark. you know, interest. 2024 <laughs> USA presidential election. It's not going to be a political talk, but Kim is going to be speaking to just looking at the, the core astrology, the, the needle chart, just analyzing the core dynamics around the whole 2024 U.S. elections. It'll be interesting. But also the USA chart. That too, yeah. The transits of, yeah, she really has her finger on the pulse, I would say, of politics. She's very educated and interested and an excellent teacher on the subject. And uh, so it'll just help us understand what we're experiencing in this country. And for those not in this country, you know, how it might be impacting the whole planet, frankly. Right. And from our past life shaman, Patricia Walsh, unveiling the psyche, exploring <laughs> karma, trauma, and the soul's journey through evolutionary astrology. Um, she is an expert in the field of combining astrology and past life regression work. So every presentation she offers has a lot of really rich insight informed from the field of her own direct experience and working with many, many clients in this way. So I'm looking forward to learning from her. Yeah, I mean, our intention is to go as deep as we possibly can with this material. But also, if you're a beginner or you're an advanced student, no matter what, you'll be able to immediately apply it to your life, what mm -hmm. you're learning from this conference immediately with your clients, with your own personal chart. And that is our intention with every single one of these lectures. So what makes this year also a little bit different, in addition to all these wonderful new talks and, and new teachers, is we've added a day. A fourth day, we, we are starting with the Eclipse panel, which will include almost all of the speakers will be in attendance there. So you can ask questions about the eclipses. We're kicking off this conference in community. And so we've got four days versus three that we had last year. And every lecture is now two hours uh, long. So there's plenty of room for Q&A. And we're giving you a decent break in between talks. Yeah. To give you some time to integrate all the information. More leg room this year. So there's yeah, leg more spaciousness room. to have a talk <laughs> and take a walk and eat some food. Oh, Ari, I like that. Our prayer really is to just be helpful, right? to bring these teachings out and that these topics are helpful and they serve us on our own journey. And maybe they open up doors to deepen our own studies and our own exploration. So enrollment is open now until the end of the month. We have an early bird discount and the coupon code is early bird and anyone can get $100 off the EA conference right here. So that would be $195. And then once August comes, the full price is $295. But if you become a member, you get $50 off. And basically membership gives you access to either last year or this past year's class series. You can learn more about all of that on the website. And if you've already been at one of our series in the past, you are already right. a member. So you automatically get that $50 off or $100 off if you sign up before the end of the Exactly. Week. Once again, we look very forward to this conference and we hope you will join us. Please feel free to reach out to the email in the description below if you have any questions or needs. Looking forward to seeing you there.